I heard about Janet through you guys, actually. I watched the Aggie TV clip. Janet's actually my friend from high school. I heard about Janet uh, through our organization. I actually work for Asian American Donor Program. It's AADP, and we're working with Janet right now. Uh, Janet is actually uh, my good friend Jeff's older sister. So, you know, to me, this is kind of personal, I guess, because, you know, he is my friend, and I want to support him and his sister any way I can. I heard about Janet through AADP, and she's actually from the area I'm from and we've had a lot of people come out here for Janet. Um, they know Janet's brother and such, so it's been a good turnout. So you may be wondering, who is Janet? On February 1st and 2nd, two bone marrow drives took place at the quad in hope of finding a perfect bone marrow match for Janet Liang, a UCLA student who has been battling leukemia for three years. There was a greater sense of urgency after she posted a video explaining how she only had two months to find a matching donor. Vincent Trin, a fourth year at UC Davis, decided to take action and organize the two bone marrow drives on campus. Right after Janet posted that video on YouTube asking people to really be proactive in signing up as a potential bone marrow donor, that was just like a calling for me to, to really utilize uh, the resources here in Davis to kind of help spread the awareness about uh, Janet's condition. So I posted a video response, basically explained that, you know, I'm going to try to host a bone marrow donor with a lot of help from friends and from different organizations, especially Asian American Donor Program. It was kind of like a, a personal contract to myself that I'm going to really put this through. So, you know, I contacted Asian American Frats, so Lambda, you know, who was being very, very big part of this uh, campaign. I could not have done this without, you know, friends like Cal, friends like Steven, um, they really put so much effort into that. And my friend Anna, who posted and produced a uh, promotion video for Janet. My friend who's a design major, Catherine, who designed the flyers, you know, couldn't have done it without um, a lot of pre-health frats. I couldn't have done this alone, to be honest. I think, I think what really surprised me is the, the generosity that a lot of students were willing to put forward. They call me up like, Vincent, you know, I read your stories and I read about Janet's condition and I really want to help. And that, that, that's amazing in itself. Someone over in Connecticut um, contacted me after seeing my video response to Janet. And it turns out that he lost both of his parents to cancer. And that was his driven motive to really give back to someone like Janet. He contacted Asian American Donor Program and donated $10,000 to, to people who really need help. So. Whether a week from now, two weeks from now, my ultimate hope is to find that match for Janet. No one like her or anyone else should be in this kind of position. If, if there's a way to prevent it, then why not? Why not try to find an answer to that, you know? The bone marrow drives registered over 200 different donors from UC Davis. Vincent and thousands of others are still hoping and waiting that Janet will soon find her perfect match.